Hey guys, I'm Barb. I'm Bob. And together we make up Hedis World. Today we are going to um, show you the inside of our Forest River 39 FKTH. So follow me on our little journey today. So we're going to start right here. As I talked about the windows in the first video, the windows are wonderful. They have screens. There's a little tab right here that makes them really easy to pull out so you can clean the window and dust off the screen. And all of the windows have daytime shades and nighttime shades. So it's wonderful. And when the sun's coming in, you definitely want to be able to play with your shades to keep it cool and stuff in here. And I'll just, I'll just add one thing to it because this is a luxury line that's got a um, three inch thick wall. They're able to build frameworks around there. Barb will point off the, the framework around the windows. So the shades actually fit inside these walls here. What I like about our rig is that you have the molding, okay? And then you have the framing. So it is a house, it's not an RV. I have yeah. a window ledge, um, which that's, is nice. Yeah, that's because of the three inch thick walls. And then everything recesses inside, including these. So nothing is out. Flopping around. Okay. It's wonderful. Now, right here, we have a, um, it's like a temperature controller. Yep. And um, it keeps it too cold up here because the sun comes in and it got all these windows. So this is something that Bob's gonna move probably to somewhere yeah, over Yeah, I'm here. gonna get it down there where it reads a better temperature for us. Because when you see our, our area up here, this is where we eat, but this is also where I work and it can be like a Frigidaire box sometimes. <laughs> All right, so when you come over here, once again, you see the beautiful moldings that they've got all around here. We've got our convection microwave. Um, the microwave works great. You put your Halo ice cream in there and you heat it for 20 seconds and it's perfect. Um, but we have used the convection too that was new to me um, and it works really well and it's great for browning. So we've done a lot of different learnings on cooking. Now Bob built me this little shelf in here because I have a granddaughter. I have some books and stuff that I want to be able to read to her down the road. This is the part of the camper that brings light into the camper for us. So I have all my little stones and I have my lights and all that stuff up here as well. But this bookcase is pretty neat. It didn't take him very long to build it at all. And then down here, we also have a food saver, uh, which we've used a few times and we, we love. I mean, it's amazing. And then over here, we have our Berkey. Now our Berkey is the travel size Berkey and it's amazing. It's got two, um, filters in here and two down here for carbon filters and for arsenic and all that and it is amazing what it does for water because you know when you're in your shower and you want to rinse your mouth out or whatever or your teeth when you're brushing your teeth and you put a little water in your mouth and you're like what is that you don't get that with the Berkey the Berkey is wonderful okay so when we come back over here this is my office area as well as Amelia's area so the drawers and all the cabinets except for one all pull out so it looks like this when we travel, we're getting ready to travel, but this is our printer and we have a DVD player if I need it for the computer. And then we just have office supplies. And then here, Bob put in a shelf. And I don't know if you're able to see that or not, but typically my computer sets in here, his computer sets in here. I mean, it's just because there was so much wasted space. This is tremendous and we have things that just set it there. These are all slow close to the drawers. Yes. The drawers, the doors, everything's slow close. And people noticed when we first went through the video right after we bought it in JD's video, I was like, shh, 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 because I'm just used to shutting stuff. And I'm probably doing it again because I'm thinking about what I need to be saying and not what I'm doing. This of course is our cat area here. So pretty much I just kind of, oh. So pretty much, I just kind of give them a little like that, and then they close on their own, just to kind of give you an idea. And they do have some incredible magnets on them. Yes, and the drawers in the kitchen all work fine. I know some people, times people complain about it, but they don't. The two top drawers come with dividers, and this drawer looked pretty much like this drawer. So Bob put in some extra dividers for me because I didn't want big forks and little forks together. I just like to be more organized and neat. Um, and so we've got two drawers the same size, and we've got kind of big drawers and stuff down here. And the countertops are Corian, and they have been holding up pretty good. We've been doing this for a couple of months. So this is a slide, and when this slide comes, it closes in, it comes right about to here. I can fit through here, and Bob can fit through here. 
if we need to while we're traveling. And when you get to the other side, we have about the same amount of room. So when we come back here, we have some of our appliances. This is our coffee and tea cabinet. And I am working on getting this made into a bar. So I have some things up there and you can't really see them because they're stuffed in the way, but it's gonna hold our uh, wine and whiskey and all that kind of stuff bottles. And once we get down on the tea, for some reason Barb thought she had to buy, I don't know, all the tea in the world because I would never be able to find it again maybe. So once we go through that, that's fine. But we have our coffee tea maker, which we love. We have our Ninja Fryer. And then down here is just more storage. I mean, this is actually my pantry that I have here. Um, and I've got another pantry on the other side where I keep all my cooking spices and stuff. Um, our refrigerator is a Samsung residential fridge. And I love it because it is nice and big. Uh, the thing, this is the thing that I don't like about it is stuff on the shelf, you know. And normally we're getting ready to travel, so I work on starting to pack everything together and I bar it off to be safe. But normally I have up here salad and I have water and I have from our Berkey and tea because <laughs> it looks like all we drink is pop and stuff. But um, these shelves I use a lot and then even these, like I can't see what they are. It's too small to really put a lot of stuff in. So they, well, they raised it up on the bottom to match yeah. the slide height here down here where you can see that they kind of raise it up. So it's when you walk up to you feel kind of short. <laughs> yeah. And then, of course, we have our thing. Once again, we're getting ready to move. I'd like to say we are, we normally feature Halo, Revel, or Enlightenment ice cream. But, um, yeah, it's a two-drawer system, and this has worked great. We had no problems with this. It does before. have an ice maker, which we elected never to turn on. We yeah, don't really not, need it. We're not ice people. All right, over here, we have more storage underneath, and I keep all of our the spices and stuff we cook with. I upgraded to putting them in these little containers just to keep them protected. Um, we have more of our cooking appliances over here. We have our Instapot, which is super cool. And then of course I have my Ninja that does everything in the world, everything you can think of. Our plates and stuff are up here. Um, I looked at doing some of those dividers that you see like a lot of other RVers do, but it just didn't really work in here and it works fine on travel day the way it is. And then wherever we could, we've added command strips to make it smart. We have one by the microwave that has things. We have this for the oven. One thing that I'll mention is this is where the solar controller is. So as you can see in the frame there, it does have an on, on uh, or go power solar controller that controls our panels and charges our batteries. Um, and we do have some fantastic fans. There's two. There's one in the kitchen, one in the bathroom. And they are wonderful. Whenever do, we use they, the Instapot or... They, they do an awesome job. Yeah, it's right up here above me and it is amazing. And then when we take a shower, when we show you the bathroom, we put it on about 50% so none of that moisture gets in there. It keeps it all clear. All right, right here we have our Furion cooktop and our Furion oven. And I love our Furion cooktop and our Furion oven. It has been amazing. The cooktop works so great. You just push this button here to light your flame and then you kind of turn it to get the level you want, but it cooks amazing, 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 amazing. That's why I love it. I have no complaints about this at all. And then the oven, lots of people will complain about, but I love the oven. I mean, we've cooked in it maybe, not a lot, maybe five or six times, but every time we've cooked in it, it's come in juicy, moist, and delicious. We've not had to put any the stones or anything in that, all the stuff that we've learned over the years. This, you kind of hold it in and turn it, and then you set your temperature. And typically, a lot of recipes want you to be at 350. With this oven, I would recommend going at 400. Um, and it cooks everything great. The We use it for storage when we're not using it. So we have all of our granite stone uh, cookware or bakeware, bakeware in here. Um, and it works great and it travels down the road just fine. Okay, so one upgrade that I'm super excited about, but it's not yet here, is we are going to put a um, cabinet here and a cabinet there. And it's going to be very similar to what you'll see in our restroom as our kind of over the john cabinet. You know, maybe so thick, um, but it's going to hold, as you'll see down in here, all of my spices because we do a lot of cooking and uh, these are all really good fresh natural spices that we like to use and that will all be housed in these two components and that will be wonderful and free this whole cabinet up yeah we did uh we went to the dealer to try to get the actual cabinet because we measured yeah. it'll fit perfectly but riverstone does not sell the complete cabinet they only sell the doors yeah, so course. i will 
I will build some uh, cabinets and then we'll we'll make some custom cabinets and as long as we got the doors, they're gonna match the rest of the decor in the, in the camper perfectly. For future videos when Bob's doing updates, I've got a shirt for him that he's gonna wear that says, if Bob can't fix it, we're all screwed. And that's pretty much true. My husband can fix and do everything. So he's amazing. Um, but that will be wonderful and that will fit in here and fit perfect and be great. Um, we're trying to kind of like just make it our own. So when you come over here, this is my oil and oil area, I guess it is. And then Bob put these shelves in for me and they're great. Now on travel days, I do pack these away. I pack everything up here you see away, but where does Bob pack it? <laughs> it goes right into my trash can in here. We throw the trash away put a fresh trash bag in and we just store everything in there and it works, it works out perfectly. Out perfectly. Uh, and then inside here also, I have aprons and I have the oils for my diffuser. We have an extra CO2 for the soda stream and then we also have trash bags. So we have that storage and then we have over here where it stores the covers for the sink. For the sinks. We also added heavy boards. In there. So that works out great. And then my sink area, I love. Um, but I do think this is something that we will probably upgrade down the road only because we've decided we don't really want a double sink. Yeah, we kind of want to go to a farm sink yeah. and get away from the nice uh, big farm sink. Uh, the sink, well, before we get into the sink, this here is um, like the cleaning supply area. And then an upgrade we did here is I had Bob put this shelf in because you had that and then you had all that room. So we have that shelf there. And then what I found, this is our dishwasher. And here, I can set all kinds of stuff on there because the dishwasher goes the whole length. So I can store stuff on top there for cleaning as well. So a camper, it's all about the space and how you utilize it. Okay, so now let's look at the sink. The sink sprayer is nice. Um, it's got a couple of buttons on it and it does spray out like this, which is great. But if you try to switch to a straight stream, it doesn't work very good. So we just leave it there. We probably will replace that as well. Uh, we have a thing that holds our sponge in. These things are very important to have. We got these at Home Depot or yep. Walmart. They were Home Depot. Home Depot. Um, they keep your sink from getting scratched because I guess it's stainless steel, but it will scratch. It scratches it will scratch pretty simple. Then if something gets dropped in it. Yeah. And then pro tip, they come with little strainers and they're dumb. <laughs> throw them away. We got these at Home Depot. Yep. And they are wonderful. They cover the they whole fit. thing. Yeah, they so that keeps all that stuff out of your gray tank because yep. we try to clean the dishes off the best we can, but there's always some particles left and yeah. that strainer will stop it all, so. Yeah, so yeah, we have one in each side because one side I wash, one side I let dry, you know, drain and then I dry them off and stuff. And then another upgrade we did is the soap dispenser because you had a little bottle of soap that was always setting up here. I'd knock it off all the time. So this is amazing. And he just went right in there and cut a little hole and put it right in and it's perfect. Now let me take you over to the last area in our kitchen, but I want to focus again on our window. As you can see, they're just so encased so nicely. It works wonderful. But this is a nice shelf. And when we, we got rid of our house, we got rid of a lot of things. You collect a lot of stuff over the years and it's important to you, but then you look at it down the road and you're like, why do I have this? So, you know, I have our, our wedding thing. I have our 25th wedding anniversary. You know, this is our daughter's Rachel and Rebecca. So it's something, you know, that's important to me to what we have up here. And then I will show you the windows are super easy to open. Now down here, I've got like a little strip because this is the other slide that comes into over here. And besides this being an eating area, this is my workstation as well for working on videos and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I also use this as a shelf to hold things when I'm working on or if I'm learning new technology. Like I said, we're getting ready to leave, so I have our bags packed for there. As you can see, we ditched the traditional um, bar stools and we put some really comfortable office chairs in. Well, they weren't bar stools, they were chairs they were ch yeah they kitchen storage, chairs a little storage in them but they weren't very comfortable not very comfortable them. if you're sitting there working on a computer so this is an day. upgrade definitely and then we have these little silly covers on top of them because our cat likes like to claw on them for some reason um so we have it set up like when we're eating we have our little things here bob ended up building me this shelf this shelf is totally amazing because this was just an open slate so it hadn't happened, but I could see somebody coming over. We'd set a drink there and it'd go right down into somebody's head into the living room. 
So that's nice that that's there. He's given us cubbies where we hold. Yeah, that was just a flat tabletop there, so it just dropped right into the uh, theater chair. Like, like when you come home, you have a place to throw your keys and all that right away. That goes right in here in the corner. And then this side normally has all my technology and all that in it. And then Bob drew will be a hold over here because I don't like all the wires. I'm not even real thrilled about still how this is all set up, but he shoved the wires through here and he's built me a little shelf under here. So we hold all the wires in there and then he's got plugs under there. And then as you can see, he's also got me some office filing down there, which is great uh, for like normal stuff I'm working on. And then we added these two drawers. And you don't think maybe it's that much, but we added in these little dividers. And we'll have a video on this so you'll kind of see what it looked like before, um, you know, versus what we're in. But this is totally amazing that this works and it's great. And then our chairs just strapped it here when we're traveling. Yeah, and they fit in there perfect with all the upgrades that he did. All right, I'm just going to go over this technology cabinet real quick. Um, we do have some uh, future videos coming out. Up here at the top, um, we did put uh, a pet wave in, and that's for our internet. So we got Sims cards in there so we can access the internet. It does have a rooftop antenna that has a five in one antenna. So it's got Wi Fi and two cellular channels plus GPS. So if someone steals our camper, we're going to find we're you. No. <laughs> um, so that will bolt so we can use it going down the road. We can pick up our own uh, internet off the. Um, Oh, yeah, it, yeah, it actually does reach out pretty good. And that little basket up there is out of the dishwasher, but it works great for holding holding things. Yep. And this part here is just a just a uh, power circuit. This has a this has three 15k air conditioners, with a the third one having a heat pump built in, so we can run off the heat pump heat if we're in a campground that has electric. We don't have to use our propane. Uh, this is an energy management system, so we tell it what amperage is coming in which right now we're at a 50 amp park um, this is our inverter so when we're not when we're on battery we can hit this inverter that that just turns on our refrigerator and the outlets that are inside the theater chairs and the tvs this is part of our surge guard that we put up front this gives us our line voltage coming in and we got a video on this but it it gives you all your voltages coming in so you can manage that uh, it does have a fan controller in here. This is our dimmer switch for our kitchen, which we're going to do some upgrades on the lighting yeah. because there's some lights that you cannot turn on unless you use one control. All right, a little bit about one control. It's nice, but the console itself in the camper pretty much stinks because it's so slow to react. We finally figured out on our own how to connect with Bluetooth. No, so, wouldn't it? Lippard would help us. No one would return our call. Yeah, so we are we use it through Bluetooth on the phone where we're, where we're close within 50 feet of the camper, which is awesome because we can we can do all the slides, we can do the awnings, we can look at our tanks, we can adjust ACs. Um, like I said, the unit has three ACs in it. Um, we use it on the phone only. I don't even ever use this anymore. Um, the internet version of it, which is through AT&T, and there's an antenna on the roof for that. That's a $10 a month subscription you have to pay for and be able to use that. And it, it's just for that. It's not for Wi-Fi data or anything. Yeah, it's and it works great too. When we're outside of that 50 feet range, we can actually look at the ACs. You can't run slides. Any moving parts won't move, but you can look at tanks. You can look at your AC temperatures. You can turn on heat, stuff like that. That's what we wanted it for mainly. Uh, also in here is just two light switches for the kitchen lights. Um, this, the other thing in this cabinet right now is just this Mopeka. Um, this is for our propane tanks. And it, it monitors tanks. All the tanks, the tanks are full right now, so it's gonna come back and give us full readings eventually. I don't use it. I use it strictly for, I use the Bluetooth on my phone. They got a great app that tells you, you know, every percent, it'll give you a message yeah. and let you know when a tank gets, you can set your settings where you want to uh, contact you. The product does a very good job, but the little thing in the cabinet, it yeah, just, these, it, it shows the same all the time, no matter what it yeah, is. These aren't, these aren't the greatest in order. Yeah, I mean, it looks like that all the time, even when it's three, four, four, we're not really sure what it's telling use, us. And the only thing else I'm gonna add here is a Victron battery monitor. I'm gonna add in this cabinet so we can uh, monitor our two uh, batteries, because the GoPower is not real uh, reliable on showing the power. 
We do want to add in there our cell phone also because we have uh, a Verizon hotspot, which we've got over here on the counter. And eventually we just want to mount that so it's all in there together and off the shelf. And then do you just want to show them that bottom cabinet too while you're there? This bottom cabinet's just a coat cabinet. Coat cloth. I mean, we, we went ahead and hung in the things that we thought we need. Um, so we probably put an extra one in there, but you know, we decided two coats, two sweatshirts, my purse, and then we do have um, Bob's shoes and stuff down in there. And this is, they, they make this black just to give it a different look, a different room. Um, we, these are, we got three ducted AC. So these are our, uh, these are your returns on both sides. And then these are your, your dumps. So these dump in the room. Um, the, for whatever reason, they put the heat pump on the bedroom um, AC. So when we're in there, we have to close these these registers off so we don't pump all the heat into our bedroom because it gets hot real fast. So that way it forces air because this is a ducted air conditioning. All these, you can run one AC like in the center and it'll, it'll dump air in all these rooms yeah. through the ducted AC. Of course, that main, whatever one's running, will get the, dump, get the, the majority of the air, but yeah. we can run our bedroom on heat pump and turn those ducts off. Yeah, it'll that force forces it air into the, into the rest yeah. of the camper. It does work good also if you're ever stuck on a 30 amp. And then something else I'll show you that we just learned about today. We we never use these lights in the center, never. I mean, they're I like them. I like that they they're lighten gonna get, that up. We're going to get a future upgrade with a dimmer switch. We found yeah. out they do have yeah. little switches on here. Like, who knew? You know, yeah. I, we just like figured that out today. All right, let's go down into our living room. So when you come down, you see that I came down this wonderful staircase here. Um, we do have a railing and it goes upstairs here and it actually goes upstairs on the other side because it gives us more storage underneath that way by raising them up. And I do love them. They're nice and big and comfortable and it's easy to flow back and forth. Now down here we have, now down here on each side there's one door and we use them for shoe storage. I can put more shoes actually have my sandals and three pairs of shoes that I keep it here. I'm gonna let Bob talk about the little uh, fuse box over here. Okay, this is our, this is our electrical fuse box down here. Um, so we're, it's got the, um, you know, our AC power and our DC power in there. And something that's silly about that is they hand wrote on the stickers what each one is and it's hard to read. So that's a thing Riverstone shouldn't stop doing. What? When I slid these drawers out, I found out that there is a ton of space underneath this system. It should have had drawers down here too and up here. What we're gonna do in a future video on both sides going into the bedroom, because uh, it's all in the upper deck. We're gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna cut some um, holes in here. We're gonna cover them up and we're gonna stain it, make it look uh, factory, but we're gonna put some storage so we can slide a lot of bins underneath there to get some storage. And there's actually a lot of storage in here too for people who are looking to find more ways to yeah. do stuff. Yeah, underneath the desk here, there's a whole bunch besides the furnace down there, but there's a whole bunch of uh, room down there. We went to the Riverstone factory before it was finished and saw it where things were open. And I took pictures of where all the spots were. So we knew where we had room, where we didn't, where wiring ran and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, we got yeah, a lot, tons of pictures with an exposed uh, skeleton. So basically our living room is nice and large. We have these two slides that will come in and they probably would come into here. So you are not able to access the restroom when you stop unless you move that slide up a little bit. Yeah, you can, when that when this slide is in, when this, uh, when the campsite slide is in on the hallway, it comes in right about there. I mean, we're almost right to there. So we, we can bump it out maybe a foot and just slide by and use the restroom if we want to use the restroom out of roadside park or something. And the TV can pull out and twist and turn any way you want. And as you see, yeah. I believe it is all the way in right over. Yeah. Um, this is a... A 65 inch Samsung. Inch. And then we've got a Bose speaker. We've got the little area here where we pretty much keep our flashlights. And um, this is a DVD player. You can put a USB into it. This we don't know a lot about yet. Uh, these speakers up here, I'm, I'm focusing on the speakers back here. So it's got A, B, and C as the outside speakers yeah. that are outside. And basically we started out just watching the TV and we have a Roku plugged into here because this is does not come with a smart TV for how expensive it is. And it's a 2019 TV in a 2021 camper, by the way. But um, we have a Roku plugged into here, which is great. And we stream, that's, that's all we use. 
um, the fireplace is wonderful. One, it's beautiful. You can have different colors, you can have it bright, you can have it dim. But on those chilly mornings like it was today, it's our heat pump. Is that the right word? No, it's, it's not a heat pump, it's just electric. It's basically a little uh, heater. But it's amazing. There's one here, there's one in the bedroom, and it's got a thermostat on it. You crank it up to whatever. It's like, it's like 5,000, or yeah, it's like 5,000 BTUs you get. So you can heat the bedroom and you can heat the uh, the, the living room here a Mark little bit. Or for some reason doesn't understand heat pump and electric heat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, she gets confused between the heat pump and the furnace. Yeah. The, ga the furnace is gas. The heat pump is electric heat. There's so much going on in here and so much brains that I can't retain that. This is not important <laughs> to me. Okay, so both of these fold out into beds, but you can only fold one at a time. Coming over, I want to pull this out and make it really comfortable for them. I mean, a lot of people will get rid of this and put a desk in here, or they'll take the bed out and make it storage for some reason. We're leaving it alone. I mean, this is Bob's couch. This is my couch. This is Amelia's couch. Amelia doesn't like her couch without. Amelia likes to hide under my theater seat chair, so she's a little mad at me right now because we're trying to reprimand her so she doesn't go in there because the chairs fold out and heat and all that stuff. We don't want her to get caught in the wires and she's gotten squished in there twice when we didn't know she was in there. So right now, she hates me, but it's okay. <laughs> a little bit on the, on the couches. Uh, when we bought this unit, the 2021, um, it did, there was an option for a lesser comfortable couch. That would let you fold out. That would let you fold it out. But these are regular fold out beds. So they're very comfy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the new the new uh, revised 2021 and a half, they, they currently only offer the, the couches. They went to a new furniture line and you can now um, slide both beds out at the yeah. same time, which we don't, yeah, we, won't, we won't need that. Matter. You know, we won't need that. This has cup holder. It's got a little bit of the blue lights. If you're having wine, you can raise your drink up to keep it from spilling. But it does fold all the way out. And actually, we could have people sleeping on that couch, fold it out here, and even fold it out here. So it's very comfortable. And then in each nook or slide, we have our each own uh, reading lights. And then, of course, we have a beautiful fan in here. And then this is the only other place where I have little knickknacks from my childhood. <laughs> so it's not that old. <laughs> all right. Um, and the windows are great. We're all about light, light, light. And the TV, of course, works great with it. The one thing I didn't say on LCI uh, One Control, we got the One Control Bluetooth. We got the One Control Internet. They did give us Alexa. Comes with the camper. Comes with the camper. Um, so we can tell Alexa, ask one control to turn on the hall lights. <laughs> okay. Alexa, ask one control to turn on the hall light. I'm turning on the hall light. Alexa, ask one control to turn off the hall light. Sorry, I'm having trouble accessing your LCI one control voice skill right now. <laughs> It's okay, Alexa. We know life is difficult. <laughs> Go ahead, Bob. Alexa, ask one control to turn off the hall light. I'm turning off the hall light. As you can see, Alexa is not 100%. Yeah. <laughs> but she can give you <laughs> tank monitors. Tank satellite. She can give you this, you know, how much is in your tanks, and yeah. she can turn on some lights. All right, so come on up the stairs with me, and then we'll check out our restroom as well. So as you see, I'm using this wonderful hand railing like that's here. Now, this hand railing is great. I can reach it going up and I can reach it going down. The hand railing originally was here at the base and it went. You can see the holes. Yeah, to here. So it went like this. So, you know, we had aging parents in the beginning that came to see our camper. We had people that had trouble getting around and they would be like this, you know, because they were, you know, just needed some kind of guidance and were holding the bathroom door. <laughs> so, yeah, this if is you. Wonderful. If I, if, I, if I spin around and look at this railing. That one was already set up. It was already set up correctly. For some reason, Riverstone does not put that one down. And there's definitely something to anchor. I anchored the, their factory screws back into bracing on the side. Yeah, so Riverstone, fix this. Fix yeah, even on the new ones, it's still, you see the video, it's still down. So if you come up here a little bit, Bob, I have to show off. We don't have the name yet, but her name is Ariel. This is the wall of Ariel. 
I believe, also known that's, as Wolf. That's our only granddaughter to this point. I think she's known as the world's greatest granddaughter. I'm not really sure because I'm grandmama. But she'll tell you in this picture when you get up the stairs, she wants to know what you're talking about with us, which talk about us. And then we personalized it a little bit more, you know, with our family over here with us and Rachel and Mike who are married with Ariel and then our beautiful daughter, Rebecca. So this is our little family wall that we've got. And of course we've got this incredible painting here and painted Barb. by Barb while she was drinking wine with her friends. Shout out to Beth, Sally, and Sherry. Miss you guys. All right, so let me take you into our restaurant. We'll start right here with the toilet. The toilet is porcelain. It is elongated and it is, um, it's wonderful. It's, it's com comfortable it's to sit comfortable. on. And a lot of people got that when they were watching the video that looks like a comfortable toilet and it is. And it's very easy to clean. We did an upgrade and added, what did they call it? Spray head. I thought it had a more fancier name, but spray head it is. Well, they, um, but it does work pretty good. We turn it on, it gives a good spray and then you turn it off and then we just kind of hang it back up. Just for those times when you need a little extra water. Yep. Um, yeah, I mean, it, and I use it when I clean it and all that kind of stuff. All right, so now this is the cabinet that um, we want to replicate without probably the border in the kitchen. So we ordered these doors. Um, yeah, you can, build the rest. yeah, you can order the doors and, and the, the closures and the handles, but you cannot order the whole cabinet. Yeah. Don't, don't ask me why. Now we did, we asked them not to put anything in here like toilet paper holders and towel holders and stuff. And I'll explain to you later what we do with our towels because you don't really see them in here, our bath towels. But Bob added this in here for me. It has all of my makeup and different lotions and stuff and it's amazing. And I love having this little towel rack right here because it's there, it's out of the way, it's easy to reach. And then over here, we have this beautiful mirror, which is really lighted nice for when you're doing makeup for the women out there or the men. Don't, don't want it to be wrong here, um, but it's wonderful. And then Bob added this in. I mean, you could probably see what's wrong with you looking at that mirror right now. <laughs> it is a very good magnified mirror. And then of course we bought some little accessories. But once again, we added another soap dispenser, you know, so that way it's uncluttered, something to hold our stuff together you know, something for this, our water cup, and then we take our towel, lay it in the sink, put this stuff in the sink with the other towel over it, and it's great for travel day. So down here, we went ahead and put our toilet paper holder in here, and then Bob ended up building me a shelf. Um, once again, all this wasted space, you know? So we have some stuff in here, and we have some stuff here, but it's perfect for holding. We've got three great drawers you know, which are great for holding stuff. And then the shower, when you come into the shower, the shower is perfect. You know, I'm five foot six. Bob is, I don't know, five foot 10. Um, the skylight is beautiful. I love taking a shower and having that light come in on you. We did add this back here, which um, holds our shampoos and stuff. And we do squeegee down after every um, time we shower, just to keep the shower clean in between. Um, I was really worried about this, but this shower head's perfect. I mean, it will turn and move. It can slide up and down. The shower head does have a shut off, so if you are yeah. boondocking and you want to the, yeah. shut it off while you're uh, soaping up, you yeah. can. And then we have our little soap here, which was made by my friend Sherry. Um, Sherry Young in Batesville, Indiana, so you want to look her up. And I will put a link, <laughs> and I will put a link to her soap thing there. This thing is here, I don't like it, but I don't want to break it off, you know, because I figure it would be messy and difficult and all that stuff. But the shower runs great, so I'm very happy with it. It does have a little seat in here also, um, which I probably, I don't know, I like the brand new one, has the seat that folds up. It's like a wooden, like a spa seat that folds down, so if I need a seat, it's there, but it takes up, you know, pretty amount of the shower and you've got the water coming down, so. It's okay, it works out fine. So now we will take you into our bathroom, our bedroom. I'm gonna talk just a little bit on the Truma water heater. Oh yes, thank you. Uh, we've got, so you got different modes on this heating uh, for your instant water. If we, right now we got it on Econo, so it will, it won't have that additional gallon and a half of water ready to go. So you gotta run a little bit longer, but since we're on sewer right now, it just saves on the gas. 
because it doesn't it cycles the gas on and off constantly to uh, keep that little bit of water hot so you got water quickly so we leave it on condo if you were going to do boondocking you'd probably want it on the uh, the higher temperature so you can get the water quicker and then the last thing i'll show you is well the doors for your showering is like this so it's a three pane shower yeah. and then on travel days they all hook together and you just bring them over here and there you go and it latches it's all places. latched and it doesn't go anywhere in here we have a queen size bed but it's a queen size it's a modified queen. Yeah. It's 66 inches wide versus a normal queen is 60 and it's the full length of 80. Yep. Yeah. I mean, you'll see the windows over here. They have a little bit different topping on them. I can't remember what Tom at the factory said why they did that. Well, they did that. They put this topping up here. So when you got out of the bed, since it's only 18 inches wide, if oh, you yeah. smack your shoulder into it, it's a little more forgiving on your body than if you was to hit that there. Show them down my side of the bed over there because I have plenty of room getting in and out of bed. I don't have yeah. any problem at all. And then I, obviously I use the window shelf to hold all the different changers. Yeah, as you remember, this is a garage unit. So this bed is what actually what actually maneuvers up and down. So when we had the bed up, it, it goes... Up to about here? No, it, well, that goes up inside the cabinet there yeah. a little bit. So it, it goes up in there pretty far. Yeah. Um, but we never need it up in that position. So something, a big modification that we added to this room is our fan that we have up here. So our fan provides extra light, which we probably, it seems like we don't even really need. We do have lights that are up here as well and lights here. So I don't know if I'll use the lights as much. I did like the look of it, but we are fan people. We like the look of fans. You know, we like the little bit of breeze, the wind noise. I mean, when we're sleeping at night. It's mainly the white noise yeah, you get from it. it low, we hear nothing. Um, but the fan, ugh, there we go, I'll put it on medium. I mean, it provides low, medium, high, really good amount of quality of air. And we're very happy with it. And it's considered a, what do they call that? Where it does it goes all the way up to the ceiling almost. Flush mail. Like a flush mail. Well, it's, a, it's, we ordered it on Amazon and we had our Riverstone add this outlet back here, yeah, a digital yeah, so, outlet, yeah, so we could hook it up. Riverstone, for additional costs, because they'll say, I say, can I add outlets? Can I do this? Yes, yes, yes. And then when we go to buy, they're like, it's $1.175. Yeah, it was $150 to add an extra outlet. Yeah. As long as it didn't involve a engineer, you can add outlets. Uh, as you can see in the bedroom, we did away with the um, carpet. carpet. Yeah. That, carpet. that was an extra charge of $300, I think. Yeah. Uh, but the, the fan, good. we wanted the fan just for the noise and the, and the breeze, but... Uh, and all I did was I pulled one of these uh, LED lights out yeah. so I could see where the bracing was and I ran bolts up through the metal bracing that's up above. So it's very stable. So if you're interested in these kind of fans, you have to really research them. And I will try to put some links in. We don't have our Amazon store set up yet. So I will try to put some links because you want to make sure you get from a good vendor. Behind the bed is a, um, kind of like a headboard and it's got a space it reminds me of when i was a kid and they used to have those old things and it's a shelf area yeah, i mean we have our the cat our uses it. lights up here um, i have my headphones that are headband headphones and then a cat's bed if you remember on the outside video if you if you're still fresh in your mind the the toolbox i built actually buds up against that underneath so yeah. that's where that's at and relationship this has plenty of storage um it's empty right now because we're getting ready to take a trip but this is our technology store so all of our technology stuff is normally up here right now we just have our drone and then we do have three cabinets you can show them over there we have three different cabinets that go all the way down to the ground um and you know they're perfect we use them for t-shirts we use but them for shorts they're very deep they yeah. go way back way here back. so they're two feet deep at least yeah. All right, so besides having the, the clothes in here, we added a shelf in here, um, which is nice. And we've got these tubs here, which we're gonna put some of our um, hats in and stuff like that to store, and we can actually do them too high. So that's gonna give us some more storage because it was just open and empty. Um, and the clothes we have in here are clothes that we don't really wear that much. The clothes we wear are in the three doors behind us. Uh, this is our nice clothes, our Hedis World gear, more of our um, winter gear yeah just you know our nice stuff weddings events i mean stuff we don't need to get to so i'm fine with it and then over here besides our vacuum that we have put in here that came with the camper we added this little rack it's like what i have at home and then all my cleaning things just snap right into it so works out great yep 
And then down here, there are Barb's shoe, shoe drawers. <laughs> There's one, two, three, four, and yes, they're full of Barb shoes. Barb shoes. All right, so back here. Barb is a shoe hoard. <laughs> I was when I first met him, and then he was made me be practical, so I'm going back to that. Uh, we have a weather radio back here that's a Midland radio, and we have it plugged in. We figured this was the best place for it. Um, the thing that we've found so far has worked great up until we got here. We couldn't get any service. Yep. So we're not really sure why we need to research it and investigate it more. Yeah, here we can't get a weather band. Noah doesn't reach uh, where oh, we're at right now. Sorry, your gamer's <laughs> flying away. <laughs> All right, so um, I will talk here. We do have the TV in the bedroom. Once again, you can pull it out and move it around. Uh, the cabinets, the furniture in here, it's all wood. It's all good quality, solid material, even in the kitchen. We have two storage drawers up here. We have a kind of like a smaller fireplace. And like I said before, it's for looks. Yeah, you can opt out the fireplaces if you want. And, and put another drawer in there if you want. Um, and then these two drawers get beat up the most by people who own Riverstones because yeah, this one, this one moves pretty good. But most of these drawers don't. And I think the key has been to maybe add an extra screw in the track. And we still need to do that on the bottom. It's got to take a little extra. Yeah, they're self-closing also, but they're... The bottom uh, one has trouble. It's just the drawer is so wide and the tracking is really yeah, uh, it's, pretty chintzy. It's a little overwhelmed. So this wonderful thing is my washer dryer that we have here. And then I've got a little rug I've got on the floor here because if any of you have ever used laundry detergent, you know how it likes to sneak out out of the lid when you're closing it up. And it was easy to clean that instead of trying to find it on the floor. So when we got this, it was just the machine with this big open area. So Bob built this wonderful shelf, which I'll back up so you can see. Yeah, when they, from the factory, it just came with one little board that went across. So I, I put a shelf, you know, I don't know if you can see back in there, but we put a shelf all the way from front to back so we can, nothing will fall back behind there. And we can also stack additional towels and she keeps her laundry detergent and, and stuff in there. And sheets and stuff like that. And then the washer dryer works great. I love it. I would not be without it. The dishwasher, I don't care about this. I love, we do laundry maybe once a week. We are so impressed by the washer and dryer. Very I mean, impressed. everybody talked about the dryer when you get a unit that's a yeah. uh, com you know, c combo unit. Yeah. Be, the dryer doesn't work, but I'm telling you, this thing's it spin. It spins dry, uh, 100 RPMs, yeah. and the clothes almost come out dry. And even though the dryer runs on uh, 120 volt, it does a fantastic job. Yeah. We're really impressed with it. I mean, you are supposed to use a little bit, kind of less. Um, I use maybe three fourths of a cup of uh, detergent, and I do use a little bit of softener in here. Um, and you know, you can power it on. And typically, we run it on four, which lasts about an hour, and then. I think I've had people always say how many pieces they have and I have a video that's going to be coming out on it but I can I mean if I'm doing towels no but if I'm doing everyday normal clothes and kitchen towels and stuff like that I think I can have I don't know 16 pieces maybe a little bit more in here yeah and it's fine undergarments and shorts and t-shirts and stuff like that don't talk about that <laughs> no it it runs great and then um whenever I do towels I will put it on a, there's a different knob here for it, and it runs like 16 seconds and gives it an extra spin to really make sure the water's out. A lot of our viewers will tell you to run the spin, extra spin all the time. We don't need it. No, just do it when you're doing heavy towels or sheets or, I mean, her sheets are fine too. The mat, this thing I do take to the laundromat at the campground, but the dryer itself is, like I said, amazing and easy and wonderful. Um, and the lid thing is down here in the front. It's very easy to pull up and it works great. So there's a gray seal that's right there. Um, if you can't ever find something, you can reach down in there and we found um, bolts. Bolts and um, we found our remote control our for extra our remote control that we for our RV lost. lock that we thought we lost. Yeah. And there was something, uh, one of our little stones was in there. So um, yeah, things don't really get lost here in this kind of this kind of thing. Oh, and the last thing I want to tell you is why you don't see towels in the bathroom. Instead of hanging them out to dry, as soon as we're done with the shower, we open them up, the shower up, and we just throw it in here, close it up, and turn it on, and um, just let it go. And how it works is the same way as this. It runs this way for so long, and then it runs that way for so long, but then it's dry. We fold it back up, we put it up here until it's time to be washed. And that keeps our bathroom looking a lot cleaner and a lot nicer. 
and it is okay to close this door. Um, oh, my only other pro tip is after you run the wash, I leave the door open because they want to close and prop it with the door just for a little bit, just to let it dry. I don't like any extra moisture or anything setting in there that isn't drying out or whatever. So let's go back out into the living room. I think that concludes the tour of the bedroom. All right, Barb, now that you completed your interior tour, what do you think about Riverstone? Would you purchase this camper again? Yes, I would. I love it. I mean, we spent five years researching it. I felt like it was right. And then I was so worried when we got it because so many people have trouble with things when they purchase them. I mean, when we picked it up, we had a tiny problem with the back door and the strip to seal it. And then there were a couple of other things but Jeff Couch's RV Nation was wonderful. They fixed everything immediately. They spent time with us. We stayed there for a couple of nights. And now that I live here, it's solid. Yep. You know, I feel like it's a home and I'm, I'm so happy. It's like I've been waiting so long to get here and now I'm here. I think our only warranty thing to date that we have besides the dealership is on Barb's side of the bed. There's two USB, um, the plug-in USBs. That does not work. I tested it and the factory is shipping us this one out so we can install it. And like she said, we, when you listen to some of the, the, the blogs and different things, it kind of scares you away from different things because you get you get all the negative and all the positive. But we've got a lot of positives about this. Yeah. This thing is built rock solid. Yeah. I mean, these moldings, they ain't falling down. They're they're in there to stay. It's This thing yeah. is well put together. And We're that's real. something we'd notice. We'd go to shows, we'd walk around and go, uh, that's coming off that's coming off i mean after a while you know yeah that's why i mean that's why this camper weighs eighteen thousand pounds because uh most fifth wheels at 44 foot can be anywhere from you know 11 to fifteen thousand um gross and uh, this this is eighteen thousand pounds you know with nothing else in it so this thing is put together very well yeah we're very happy i mean nothing's perfect but whose home is perfect right and we're making it our own as we go and that is okay with us so i want to thank you so much for coming along today and being patient and going through you know this with us we are new so we're doing the best that we can at uh, youtube subscribers but we want to take you on the journey with us we want to show you what we did how we're doing it why we're doing it not only for like this but on the can am and and seeing the beautiful america that is out there so once again thank you Please like, subscribe, get notified. Um, comment. Please, please comment because comment. Yes. I'm not always the one that uh, sends stuff back, but Barb will ask me, and I'll, she, she's pretty quick at uh, you know sending comments back to people, yeah. which we've gotten a lot of great feedback so far. We've yeah. gotten a couple people overseas. <laughs> <laughs> so um, it's fun for me. I mean, we're not doing this to make a ton of money or to set up kind of channel or even to live off of it. We started it for our family and our friends and then just to share because we went through a lot and had not a lot of detail, not a lot of help that we found YouTubers who were able to help us and learn. So that's what we want to do. We just want to help and teach and, and make it fun and exciting and also silly. So thank you again. Um, once again, I'm Barb and he is Bob behind the camera. So remember, come travel. In our world.